Hey, use this piece of garbage. Answer my question. When are you going to pack your shit and leave the house? You do realize that you're simply a waste of oxygen, right? This house is only for me and your big brother, Tristan. A worthless high school dropout like you is not welcome here. Seriously, Mom? Are you going to nag me again about this crap? I'm in the middle of my work right now, and I really don't have time for your nonsense. Honestly, I've had enough of your whining and nagging at me whenever I come home from work. But you are a high school dropout. Having you around only makes our family look bad in other people's eyes. You don't deserve to breathe the same air or share the same space with me and your brother. You're just trash, a low life, and we are the upper class. What do you mean? Now you're blaming me for dropping out of high school? You should know better than anyone why I had to leave high school early. It's not like I had a choice. I did it because you forced me to. You coerced me into getting a job as soon as possible so that I could work my butt off to provide for your selfish needs. You didn't bother to go to work and help out around the house financially, even though you were only in your 40s at the time. Yeah, yeah, it's not like anyone would believe your white lies. Just admit it. The only reason you quit high school is because you're a useless loser. That's all. How dare you even think of shifting the blame onto the only person who brought you into this world. You know what? I regret giving birth to trash like you. I wasted nine months of my life carrying you around like a growing tumor. And for what? Just so you can be here and talk at me like a barbarian? Such a disgrace. Enough is enough, Mom. You've crossed the line with your behavior. Can't you find it within yourself to show even an ounce of respect towards me, the only person in this household who has tirelessly worked for the past 10 years to provide a roof over your head, pay every single bill, and ensure there's food on the table? I had to juggle not just one, but two or even three jobs when I was barely 17 years old. I don't really care. I'm tired of you using work as an excuse to justify your stupidity. Why don't you admit that you're just too dumb that you couldn't even finish high school? Honestly, having a useless son like you gives me headaches. I can't even sleep at night because I feel so ashamed of being your mother. Oh, so now you have the audacity to call me useless? Let's talk about what you and Tristan have been up to while I, the so-called useless son, have been working tirelessly, day in and day out. Oh, I know exactly what you've been doing leeching off my hard-earned paycheck. You've been wasting my money on extravagant clothes, indulging in luxurious spa treatments and plastic surgeries, while Tristan has been shamelessly mooching off of me to fund his ridiculously expensive anime and cartoon figure collections. I have no idea what you're talking about, silly. Stop making things up like that. You're already a useless imbecile, so don't sink even lower by resorting to lies. And remind me, what exactly are you doing for a living? All oh, right, I recall hearing something about you working in a cafeteria. So you must be nothing more than a lackey, scurrying around like a little lap dog serving guests, huh? How repulsive, Chase. I can't believe you would engage in a job as low class and filthy as a cafeteria waiter. I mean, seriously, could you possibly become even more of a failure? Are you actually serious? Here you are mocking my job, the very same job that had been supporting your lazy lifestyle all these years. It's unbelievable that you continue to demean me, despite the fact that I'm the only person who's been working tirelessly to provide for our entire family. My efforts have been nothing short of backbreaking to ensure everyone's well-being, and yet you have the audacity to belittle me. Besides, it's true that I work at a cafeteria, but I'm not a waiter, so your words are simply invalid. Blah, 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 spare me the meaningless rambling. You're a high school dropout who works a shitty job and gets paid peanuts, so your opinions carry no weight whatsoever. You living here is just a massive waste of electricity and utility bills. Just pack your things and get the hell out of the house. We're done using you. Your time here is over. Seriously? You do realize that Tristan has been jobless for the last four years, right? He's 30, unemployed, and single. So tell me, 
What gives you the right to direct all those hurtful words at me while sparing Tristan from your criticism? Why are you so stubborn, Chase? Why can't you just do what I say and get lost? You're no longer welcome here. You're simply a pain in the neck that I can't wait to cut out of my life completely. Unlike you, my son, Tristan, belongs to the elite class, so he doesn't need a loser like you around to drag him down. I told you, you're all used up. You're practically old news. So figure it out yourself, man. Why the sudden change of attitude? When I proposed moving out of the house at 20, you were strongly against it and begged me to stay. You said you couldn't live without me and that our family wouldn't be the same if I were to leave. And now, out of nowhere, you're pushing me to move out? Has something happened that I'm unaware of? Ugh, you're such a nosy little brat, Chase. Fine. If you're dying to know the reason behind me kicking you out of the house, then listen carefully. Your older brother, Tristan, just received a fantastic job opportunity at a prestigious multinational corporation. Isn't that absolutely marvelous? Do you know what this means? It means that your brother will soon be earning a substantial income and giving it all to me. Really? That's great news. I'm happy for him. Is that so? But wait, there's more. Tristan has even found himself a stunning partner and they're planning to get married soon. And here's the real kicker. The girl happens to be the daughter of his company's CEO. Surprise! I can just picture the seething anger and jealousy boiling inside you. But what exactly can you do about it? I mean, let's be honest. Any girl in this world would gag at the thought of looking at you, let alone being your girlfriend or even your wife. But how could I blame them? You're so gross. And why do you believe that I'm incapable of finding myself a girlfriend? What? Are you honestly suggesting that you have no idea why people despise you? You really are clueless, Chase. Well, I bet you don't even dare to look at yourself in the mirror and see what you've become. You're nothing but a filthy, uneducated waiter. Ugh! Your job is so unhygienic and pays so poorly that it makes me sick. Besides, you're not blessed with looks either. You're so plain looking and fat to the point where even a pig would feel envious. <laughs> it's no wonder you've remained desperately single all these years. Are you done talking, mother? I can't believe how ungrateful you can be to treat me like this when I'm the one who's been supporting you and Tristan all these years. You know what? I don't care. I know that people like you have no respect for themselves and even stoop to petty theft. I warn you, do not go anywhere near your brother or even think of leeching off his hard-earned money for your own needs, or else you'll be met with a dreadful end. By the way, now that your esteemed brother has ascended to an elite corporate position, I'm kicking you out of the house and cutting ties with you. That means we're no longer mother and son. <laughs> Don't ever interact with me or your brother. Understood? Toodles! Chase, why aren't you helping your big brother? I'm in big trouble now. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? Don't tell me you're heartless enough to see me suffer. Don't just sit there and do nothing. Say something. Reply to me immediately. Huh? What happened? Something wrong? Now you're asking me that question? How could you be so thoughtless and inconsiderate? I need you to help me find a job as soon as possible. But not just any job, mind you. I'm looking for a position at a reputable company with a generous salary. I know you can do that, right? After all, you've been working since you were 17 and have connections. Um, you're looking for a job. Are you certain about that? Because mom told me that you've already secured a job. According to her, you're currently employed by a renowned multinational company. Oh no, mom actually told you that? If she genuinely believes it, then I'm in big trouble. Why? What happened? The truth is, mom constantly nagged and pressured me to find a job. It wasn't just a one-time or occasional occurrence. 
but it persisted for several years since I graduated from college. That's why I was forced to fabricate a story about landing a dream job at a prestigious company with a substantial salary, just to make her stop her incessant meddling. Seriously? So you lied to mom? Wow, I'm a little concerned for you. I mean, judging by her character, I'm afraid of what crazy things she might do when she finds out you weren't completely honest with her. What could I possibly do? I felt cornered and I had no choice. You know, Mom, she can be a huge nuisance sometimes, and I'm exhausted from dealing with her. Mom also urged me to have a girlfriend, but where can I even find one? I've never been lucky with girls. The last time I talked to a girl, our conversation only lasted for 5 minutes, and she happened to be a cashier at a nearby convenience store. Wait, does this mean... The story about you having a girlfriend who happens to be the daughter of your company's CEO is also a fabrication? Oh no, mom told you about that too? I'm totally screwed. Wow, it's quite the burden being mom's golden child, isn't it? For once in my life, I'm actually relieved that I'm not her favorite son. Chase, you've got to help me. I seriously don't know how to fix this. There's only one solution. You need to find me a job and a girlfriend. I can't let mom find out about the truth or else I'll be doomed. Look, Tristan, I can help you find a job, but it won't be the kind of fancy job with a high salary at a multinational company as you want. It'll be a regular job with an average salary so you need to consider it carefully. If you're looking for a girlfriend, you can try online dating. There are many dating apps and websites out there, and I'm sure you'll be able to find someone who's a good match for you. Just be yourself and be honest about what you're looking for. However, I can't guarantee that you'll actually date the daughter of a CEO. That's a lot to ask. I don't care. You have to find me a job and a girlfriend of my dreams. You're the younger brother. It's your duty to please everyone in our family and fulfill all of my wishes. Why is it my duty? I've been taking care of our house and paying for our daily expenses since I was only 17. I don't plan to carry out that task any further. On the other hand, you've been conveniently enjoying the fruits of my labor without so much as a thank you. You've never defended me, not once, whenever mom puts me down or berates me. You've even sided with her to make fun of my profession. And don't think I didn't notice the many times you went to mom telling tales about me. I see no reason why I should help you out with anything, because you've never helped me. Seriously? Now you're bringing up these past events? They happened a long time ago, so stop repeating the same old stories like a broken record. No one even remembers what happened. Holding grudges against your own brother will only make you more of a failure than you already are. Look, I know you have a great job with a good income and even a beautiful and well-off girlfriend. You're the CEO of a cafeteria chain, right? And your girlfriend is actually your business partner. Why don't you hand over everything you have to me? I guarantee I'll put them into good use. What? How do you know all that? I don't remember sharing any of those details with you. Hold on, have you been stalking me? Yeah, I've been stalking you. So what? Do you seriously think you can hide the fact that you're a CEO forever? If you don't want me to tell mom about it, you have to give me a good position in your company. At least a position similar to the CEO, but not lower than that. In an ideal world, you might want to hand over your entire company to me. And your successful girlfriend too, of course. Huh? What did you just say, Tristan? Are you even listening to yourself right now? What's so surprising? Didn't I make myself clear enough? I want your company and your girlfriend. I'm the older brother, so I deserve to have what you have more than you do. Wow, Tristan, you are really delusional. Do you seriously think I'm going to give you my company and my girlfriend just like that? 
If you want what I have so badly, why don't you put in the necessary work and earn it yourself? I have put in countless hours of hard work to reach the position I'm in today. Success isn't something that magically appears out of thin air. It requires time, hard work, and dedication. Besides, even if you somehow managed to get your hands on my company, you wouldn't know what to do with it. You would completely ruin it, that's for sure. What? How do you know that? I've never tried running a company before, so how could you be so sure that I'm only gonna ruin it? What an arrogant and self-centered prick you are. At least I was smart enough to go to college and use my brain, instead of dropping out of high school like some loser. <laughs> I mean, that's just how life is sometimes. What can you do about it? You really just drew the short straw. You should really wish for better luck next time you're born. Hey! Chase, I see that you've already moved all of your belongings out of my house. Well done. You're such a good boy. Why didn't you stay a little while longer so I could throw you a bone or two to congratulate you on your hard work? <laughs> you really need to stop acting so ridiculous. You're not a child anymore. Please start behaving more like a responsible adult. Wow, look who's talking a big game. Is it the eternal antisocial bum who's lecturing me about how to behave like an adult? Ridiculous. You're such a big fat loser that you're 27 and you can't even find yourself a girlfriend. Gross. How much longer are you going to keep living like this? If you keep on like this, you're headed straight to the gutters, living amongst the other scum around you. Why do you keep hurling insults at me? What have I ever done to deserve this? It doesn't make you superior to anyone. In fact, it just makes you look petty and insecure. <gasps> Excuse me? When are you allowed to snark at your own mother like that? Are you too blind to even recognize the huge difference between you and your big brother? While you've been lazing around doing nothing meaningful, Tristan fell in love and is starting a whole new chapter of his life. You're just a piece of lint compared to your successful older brother. When are you going to stop believing all of Tristan's white lies? He's been lying to you this whole time. He's not successful. Nor does he have a great job at a prestigious company like he made himself out to be. Besides, the whole thing about him having a girlfriend who's the daughter of the CEO is also false. What? Are you now accusing my beloved son of being a liar? I understand that you're envious of him, but please try to conceal it, alright? You can't simply hurl baseless accusations at your older brother and call him a liar without any evidence. That's nothing but blatant disrespect. Without any evidence? Oh, believe me, my dear mother, I have all the evidence in the world to blow your mind. Look, I have just sent you the screenshots of my exchange messages with Tristan in which he admitted to lying to you about having a job and a girlfriend. Just see for yourself and you will know the whole truth. What, screenshots? Wait, is this truly my son Tristan speaking? I can hardly believe it. How dare he accuse me of nagging at him? This is not how a son should speak about his mother at all. See? Every single thing I told you is completely true. It's too bad you mercilessly kicked me out of the house because you thought that your precious good-for-nothing son, Tristan, could replace me as your money-making machine. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're dead wrong. Wake up. Tristan is a leech, and he's been leeching off of me this whole time. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're wrong. Wake up and face reality. Tristan is nothing but a parasite, and he has been sponging off me all this time. No! You're, you're just bluffing! I won't believe a word you say because it's all deceitful nonsense. Deceitful nonsense? Yeah, right. You know what's even worse? Tristan didn't even bother to find a job even once after he graduated from college. He never worked a day in his life, and he's a loser. What you need to do is to tell Tristan to live within his means. 
No, no, no! I cannot believe any of this. My Tristan is not capable of such behavior. The only loser here is you. Tristan is my pride and joy, and I have complete faith that he is destined for greatness. You're undoubtedly lying. I'll have a conversation with Tristan to clarify all of this. Chase, are you there? Where have you been all this time? You know mommy is missing you to death, don't you? You're missing me to death? That doesn't sound right at all. Oh, come on. Why must you constantly be on guard when talking to your own mother? Now I've come to a realization of your significance within this family. You're an incredibly remarkable son, the kind any mother would be grateful to have. Please, I'm not accustomed to your sweet talking as it sends shivers down my spine. Let's just have a normal conversation if you don't mind. Just explain to me what's with this sudden change of heart again. Well, you know, I recently had a conversation with Tristan, and it turns out that everything you told me about him is true. He did, in fact, lie to me about having a good job and a rich girlfriend. See? I told you so. I believe I deserve some kind of apology from you, even though I know that you are not the kind of person who would apologize. What are you saying, sweetheart? Of course I should be apologizing to you. Look, I'm truly sorry for all the hurtful things I said to you. I deeply regret doubting your capability earlier, but please know that you're always welcome to return to our home whenever you desire. Just notify me in advance and I'll arrange the grandest welcome party imaginable to celebrate your homecoming. I'm sorry, but I won't be coming home. After all, it would be rude of me to ruin your happiness with your precious son, Tristan, right? Oh, sweetheart, please don't tease your own mother like that. You know I love both you and Tristan equally. By the way, I heard from Tristan that you own a chain of cafeterias. That's fantastic news! And also I heard that you got yourself a wealthy girlfriend too! Wow! These are significant achievements. Especially for a useless high school dropout like yourself. What can I say, dear? I couldn't be prouder of you. Yeah, I anticipated that once Tristan's lies were revealed, he would divulge all my secrets to you. Let me clarify once and for all, yes, I did drop out of high school initially, but I resumed my studies shortly after. I successfully completed college and even obtained a master's degree in economics. I can't believe you kept such things a secret from me. Do you know how much it hurts me? It hurts me deeply. It proves that you don't trust me as your mother at all. Considering the way that you've been treating me, it's understandable why I would choose to keep something like that a secret from you. However, now that you're aware of the truth, I suppose you should know this. Look, it's true that I have a girlfriend, and I'm getting married to her. In fact, we're already engaged. Wait, hold on. You're saying you're getting married? I don't understand what you're saying at all. No, this can't happen. You know very well that it's not allowed. Break off your engagement with her. Did you make all the wedding arrangements already? If you have, then cancel them immediately. I don't care what you do, but getting married is absolutely not an option for you. What do you mean I can't get married? I seriously don't understand. I thought you'd be happy to hear this since you were so eager to evict me from the house. Listen, you can't do this to your older brother, Tristan. It's absolutely unacceptable for you to get married before him. That's completely out of the question. You would be a monster if you do that. What? Seriously, why does that even matter? Why can't I get married before Tristan? Oh, you want to know the reason why? It's because Tristan is older than you, that's why. Take a minute to consider how absurd it would appear if the younger brother were to marry before the older one. What would people think of our family? What would they think of your brother? They would perceive Tristan as incapable of finding a life partner before his younger sibling. Once your brother is married, you'll have more freedom to make your own choices. But until then, marriage is off the table. Just do as I say, got it? You can't tell me what to do. Tracy, I'm a grown man now, and I decide for myself. Be quiet and don't butt in while your mother is talking. 
You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me, understood? I basically own you. I'm your mother and you're my property. You know what? I wish I never had you. Your brother was always smarter than me because he got all the good genes, but you got all the bad genes. You're just a little luckier than him in life. That's all. Ugh. You're really unbelievable. I see this conversation going nowhere, so I'm gonna end it here. Wait, I'm not done talking yet. Why can't you be a little more respectful towards your mother? Listen, since your brother is a little less fortunate than you, you need to do something to make it up to him. I'm not asking for much. All I want is for you to let go of your girlfriend and allow your brother to pursue a relationship with her instead. What do you think? It seems like a fair exchange, doesn't it? What? Are you out of your mind? What kind of request is that? Take a moment to reflect on this. It's in your girlfriend's best interest to spend her life with Tristan. My eldest son would offer her a much more fulfilling life than anything a useless loser like you could provide for her. If you were to marry her, you'd likely only be able to give her daughters. That's what failures do. However, given Tristan's brilliance, it's most likely that a boy would be born if he were the father. What? Tracy, that's absurd. The gender of a baby is not something within our control. Moreover, why would I give up my fiancé to Tristan? We're already engaged, so it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why does it have to make sense? Well, it's too late for you anyway. There's something you should be aware of. I've been exchanging messages with your fiancé lately, and it appears that she's quite interested in becoming Tristan's spouse. What? You've been texting my fiancé? Why didn't she say anything to me? Are you joking or simply being foolish? No one in their right mind would openly admit to cheating on their partner. I bet she's just biding her time for the right moment to end things with you. <laughs> oh, what was her name again? Amanda, right? What a lovely name. And she even owns her business? That suggests she must be quite successful financially. My son is definitely in for a treat. Amanda? Are you sure? Because that's not my fiancé's name. My fiancé's name is Cindy. What? Then who is this Amanda person that Tristan's been exchanging messages with? Seriously, I don't even know any girls named Amanda who owns a business. Wait, perhaps I do know one woman, but she works as a janitor at my company. She's around 40 years old, and she is indeed single. Huh? A 40-year-old woman working as a janitor? You must be joking! Are you absolutely certain about this? Yeah, I am pretty sure. But I'm curious, though. How did you even get her contact? How would I know? Tristan claimed he stole her contact info somehow, stating it came from a trusted source. So are you saying that my son Tristan has been texting this older lady named Amanda? I can't believe it! Well, as I mentioned, she is still single and apparently a kind-hearted woman. So I suppose Tristan would be content being with her. No, are you out of your mind? How could my beloved child marry a 40-year-old woman? Is this some kind of twisted joke? Why don't you be a little less stubborn and give Tristan your well-off girlfriend? It's not too much to ask, isn't it? Just provide me with her phone number, and I'll have a word with her directly. I'm 100% sure that my Tristan can seduce her. Look, Mom, please stop suggesting such absurd ideas. Tristan doesn't need a girlfriend, at least not at this moment. He needs to focus on finding a job and learning to be independent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an important meeting to attend, so I'm going to end our conversation here. I hope you'll soon realize the importance of allowing Tristan to stand on his own and become self-sufficient. No, you can't abandon your big brother like this. You have to help him. My Tristan needs a girlfriend and I need his grandchildren. Hello? Chase? Are you there? Answer me! Somehow, my mother and brother managed to gather additional information about my fiancé. They went to her workplace, causing a disturbance and demanding to see her. Eventually, my fiancé took legal action against them, resulting in a substantial lawsuit for damages. As a consequence, they were compelled to sell their house and relocate to a run-down apartment, 
taking on multiple menial jobs to meet their financial obligations. As for me, I have gained a newfound sense of freedom since moving out of my previous home. Once we are married, Cindy and I plan to live together, eagerly anticipating a fulfilling life ahead.